commonly have tsunamis in the western province around Makila and Temotu. The main risk associated with the tsunami is mainly the coastal flooding or inundation run-ups of the tsunami waves which normally kills the people. We have the earthquake monitoring system, the seismic stations, and the sea level monitoring stations. And how fast you receive the data depends on how many seismic stations we have around the Solomon Islands. They want the solar panel and the batteries, but when you get the solar panel and the batteries, you spoil everything because most equipment are located where there is no power. With one station down, it means uh, we are losing time in terms of uh, information coming in. The five seismic stations, they were installed mainly in the southern part, so we need to expand that to Western Province and Joizu, where it's also a hot spot for earthquakes and tsunamis. The government's plan is basically to keep on working with donors to expand the network with more data, more accurate information, the faster dissemination.